Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about how to working with the forget password and then how to reset that password, right? I hope it's very much clear to you. Now in this video, I want to discuss about if you want to verify your email, how can actually verify it? It's very much easy. Simply go to our project. In the project, if you go to our web.php, here that is by default, they are using one of the middleware as auth middleware, right? If you want to access that dashboard, by default, that is one of the middleware as auth. And when you install that breeze, breeze is also created another middleware. If you go to that middleware and if you go to that kernel.php, into the kernel.php, there is also another file as a verified file, okay? So that is one of the verified. So into this verified, area it's a clear generated on the middleware that is ensure email is verified with by this it will be check it so first of all we have to do we have to declare that middleware as a verified middleware i copy it now in our web.php and there is auth after that auth i want to do and to add another one as a verified and then we have to update our model if you go to that model and that is our user model and into the user model by default that is one of the auth as a must verify email Okay, so that is, you can see there is a must verify one of the email and that is the must verify email here we have to do we have to add it we have to implement it um, in our extended authenticable after that extended authenticable here you have to add that as the implement okay that will be the im implements okay implements and into this implements area here you have to add that as a must verified email and also by default that will be loaded as a must verified email that means everything is work perfect and also by default that will be in here as a must verified email which is totally fine if fine here only you have to do you have to implement you have to implement that must verified email so friend that's all okay that's all you have to do simply add that middleware and then here we have to add implements our must verified email in our user table okay that is in our user model now i'm going to click as a save all okay i click as a save all and now if you want to create another new user like i want to register another new user okay so then everything will be more clear i click as a register so right now in our database right now we don't need this okay close it and now in our database all that our field must should be as a verified that is email verified okay like i show you first of all i have to create another new user and i just name it as a kazi and i name it as a kazi at the rate gmail.com mail.com and put that you do me one two three four five and you do me one two three four five okay now if you click as a register now you can see it's now display our another part as a thank you for sign up before getting started um, could you verify your email address right here it's actually suggested to verify that email address and that is also one of the view file that view file is loaded from our which page that is a view verified email if you I, I show you if you go to that resources and then the view and in our auth you can see there is a verified email and that is actually the message so if you want to change that message you can change it as per your demand okay so that is actually message view page is loaded so right now it's totally fine it's totally fine i want to do i want to reset it like there is a reset verification email i send it as a reset verification email now that will be sent one of the email in our inbox so i have already configured our email you can see it's now show as a verified new verified link has been sent to the email address okay so now if you go to our email now that should be new one okay you can see there is actually two so right now you take that our last one so that is our verified email so now if you select it as a verified email now our that one of the part that is email verified will be executed yes you can see right now you are successfully logging by the kazi and that is email address as a kazi at the red gmail.com and also that is updated as a kazi now if you go to our database now i refresh it now that should be our another new table yes now you can see there is a new user as a kazi kazi at the gmail.com and you can see this email is verified right so this email is verified now um, for our that user that is i have already created before as a user so now if you also logging with this user now i click as a logout okay i click as a logout right now i close it and now into locking our new use before user i have already created as user at that gmail.com that should be also sorry that should be also as a verified so now i want to done to add that uh, password as you one two three four five six seven eight because i have already changed that 
password now click the locking you can see you are not able to um, access the dashboard before that verified so here also you have to do you have to verify that email address now i send that verification email okay now that should be load another email in here so it may take a little time you can see so successfully send that verification email verification email is loaded if you verified it verified email address now yeah you are now successfully able to access that dashboard so that is our user locking and that is also display email address as a user at gmail.com so how to verify your email i hope it's very clear to you friend and now that should be also updated our email verified at because i have already verified this email you can see it's now successfully updated great and also there is another things i show you mm, right now i'm already logging okay i'm already logging if you go to the logout into the logging area here that is also one of the default attempt time that means if you put inappropriate some of the password after how many time that will be notified you that means it will be block your um, locking page if you want to set up it there is also another uh, folder when you, when you install that laravel breeze then that will be provided into the middleware that is one of the request and there is auth and there is a locking request okay into this logging request you can see there is one of the fun method as a authorized and authorized by default as a true and they have one of the rules uh, for the email and then there is one of the password and then that is authenticated okay you can see there is authenticated and sure the rest and you can actually get everything in here so i want to do that is the things okay ensure is not rate limited so here if you want to add some of the attempt time uh, how many after how many time that will be um, supported like i make it by default that is actually the five and if you want to make it as a two that means two time if you put inappropriate username or password it should be block it it should be block it in you can set up that second like as a 60 second right now that will be blocked for the 60 second okay so now if you want to check it as a save all right now i make it as a two that means if you now go to our page i want to refresh it like i put that um, some of the inappropriate username password i enter it so that is our first warning and also i want to add that another password that is our second warning and now if you again do that work now you can see it's now already updated as a too many logging attempt please try it into the 15 second okay so that will be blocked for the next 50 second okay that means the total our 60 second here i have already updated that 60 second for the 60 second that will be blocked okay friends so here if you want to add this type of one of the uh, violation expectations then with these messages you can actually throw this message so that will be one of the minute you can change it if you want to change that attend time you can also change that attend time in here okay so it's totally fine it's totally fine right now if you refresh it and now if you're logging with the user okay user at the gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight now login now you can see it's not successfully able to logging okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so in our next video i want to discuss about um, they have some of the default logo right that i want the default breeze logo if you want to change that default logo how can do this work so literally we'll actually customize it here we'll load another different type of template a logging page different type of template logging register page everything will be changes but uh, if you want to change it if you want to use that default authentication page and if you want to change that logo how to change this in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video